हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू इन लेक्चर नंबर 11 ऑन पार्शियल ऑर्डरिंग इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट मैक्सिमल एंड मिनिमल एलिमेंट्स इन ए पार्शियली ऑर्डर्ड सेट वी विल डिफाइन व्हाट इज मैक्सिमल एलिमेंट ऑफ ए पोसेट एंड व्हाट इज मिनिमल एलिमेंट ऑफ ए पोसेट एंड वी विल अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू ऑप्टेन मैक्सिमल एंड मिनिमल एलिमेंट्स ऑफ ए गिवन पार्शियली ऑर्डर्ड सेट सो फर्स्ट वी अंडरस्टैंड द डेफिनेशन let p be a partially ordered set with some partial order relation denoted by less than or equal to an element y belongs to p is called maximal if there is no x in p such that y is less than x meaning of y less than x means y is related to x and y is not equal to x so if there is no x in the given poset such that y is less than x that is y is related to x and y is not equal to x then this element y is called maximal maximal element means there is no element no other element x in a given poset such that this condition is satisfied similarly we can define minimal element an element y belongs to p is called minimal if there is no x belongs to p such that x is less than y minimal means there is no element in a given set x such that x is related to y and x is not equal to y we cannot have any element x in a poset says that x is less than y then y is called minimal element and if there is no x in a poset such that y is less than x then y is called maximal element so we determine maximal and minimal elements in this partially ordered set which elements of the poset having all these elements with divisibility relation are maximal and which are minimal first we talk about maximal element so maximal element means out of all these elements we have to decide those elements y such that there is no other element say x in this set such that that element x is less than y y is maximal means y is not the greatest element but there is no other element which is greatest or which is greater than uh, y here i should write there is no element here i should write this sign uh, y is less than x y is maximal if there is no x in a given set such that y is less than x that is y is related to x and y is not equal to x now in this case our relation is divisibility relation so y less than x means there is no x such that y divides x and y and x are different so we have to decide those elements from this set for which this condition is satisfied that is we have to find out those elements which cannot divide any other element from this set and they are different from that element so if we observe for 25 then we can see 25 is that integer uh, such that 25 does not divide x for any x in this set suppose we denote this set by p then there is no x in this set such that 25 divides that element so uh, we it is obvious that 25 cannot divide any of these elements so 25 is maximal element you can see this definition there is no x in a given set p such that y is less than x now i am taking y equal to 25 so there is no element x in this set p such that y divides 
that element and y is not equal to x that is there is no x to which 25 divides so 25 is maximal element in this partially ordered set similarly we can see that 20 is also a maximal element because 20 cannot divide any element which is given in this set so 20 is also maximal element there is no x in a given set p such that 20 divides that element x and 20 is not equal to x and this we can shortly write as 20 is less than x so 20 is also maximal element same thing for 12 also there is no element in this set such that 12 divides that element and uh, therefore there is no x in given set p such that 12 is less than x so 12 20 and 25 are maximal elements what about 10 so 10 is not maximal you can see if i take y equal to 10 then there exist x equal to 20 such that 10 divides x so here we obtain one element x in a given set such that this happens y is less than x that is y divides x and y is different from x therefore 10 is not maximal same thing for 5 5 divides 10 therefore 5 is not maximal similarly for 4 also 4 divides 12 as well as 20 so 4 is also not maximal and in a similar way 2 is also not maximal so the only maximal elements in this partial order set are 12 20 and 25 so i can write here maximal elements are 12 20 and 25 now we search for minimal elements so for minimal elements uh, we recall the definition that y belongs to p is minimal if there does not exist any x in a partially order set p such that x is less than y y is minimal means there is no x which is less than y now what is meaning of this this means x is related to y here relation is divisibility relation and x is not equal to y if there is no x in a given set p such that x is less than y then y becomes minimal element so we check for 2 if we consider y equal to 2 then uh, we can see that there is no x such that x divides 2 therefore 2 is minimal 4 what about 4 if i take y equal to 4 then 4 is minimal if there is no x in p such that x divides 4 but here we can see x equal to 2 is there such that x 2 divides 4 so 4 is not minimal element then we check for 5 so 5 is minimal because there is no x in a given set p such that x divides 5 there does not exist any x in p such that x divides 5 that means there is no x in p such that x is less than 5 therefore 5 is minimal element what about 10 so 10 is divisible by 5 so 10 is not minimal element because 5 divides 10 similarly 12 is not minimal because 2 divides 12 4 divides 12 20 is not minimal because 5 divides 20 and 25 is also not minimal because 5 divides 25 so we have only two minimal elements 2 and 5 minimal elements are 2 and 5 so in this way we can decide maximal and minimal elements using simply the definition of their uh, de using simply the definition of maximal and minimal elements in a partially ordered set
another way to decide maximal and minimal elements is to draw the hash diagram of a given partially ordered set and uh, the elements at the top will be maximal elements and elements which are at the bottom will be minimal elements so uh, we can decide using hash diagram also suppose i want to draw the hash diagram of this post set then i have to draw the circles for 2 and 5 below the circles for remaining elements because 2 and 5 are not related to any other elements so let me draw the circles for 2 and 5 somewhere here suppose this represents 2 this represents 5 now 2 is related to 4 and 2 is not equal to 4 and 4 covers 2 so i have to join circles for 2 and 4 by line segment similarly 5 is related to 10 and 10 covers 5 so first i am drawing the circles for 4 and 10 let me draw the circle for 4 and 10 here so i have to join these two by line segment because 4 covers 2 and 10 covers 5 now what about 12 so 12 is a cover of 4 because there is no integer in between 4 and 12 such that 4 divides z and z divides 12 similarly 20 is a cover of 10 because there is no z in between 10 and 20 and 25 is also a cover of 5 because there is no integer in between 5 and 25 and uh, 12 is a cover of 4 20 is a cover of 10 and 25 is a cover of 5 so i have to draw the circles for 10 12 and uh, 10 is already uh, drawn here so i have to draw the circles for 12 20 and 25 so i am drawing the circles for 12 20 and 25 12 20 and 25 and uh, 4 is covered by 12 10 is covered by 20 and uh, 5 is covered by 25 so let me draw the hash diagram in this way or i can uh, rewrite again this does not look good so i can consider 12 here 20 here and uh, 25 so 12 20 25 and uh, this this will work this looks nice now we can see that uh, this 25 okay I, I have to join 2 and 10 also because 10 covers 2 and uh, 10 covers 2 because there is no z in between 2 and 10 there is no integer z such that 2 divides z and z divides 10 in a given post set similarly you can see 20 covers 4 also because there is no z in a given set such that 4 divides z and z divides 20 so i have to join 4 and 20 also and uh, let me see whether i am missing anything or not okay so this is fine this is the correct hash diagram of a given partially ordered set now we can see the elements at the bottom are 2 and 5 so these two are minimal elements and elements at the top are three maximal elements so we can use hash diagram also to decide maximal and minimal elements the elements at the top of the hash diagram are maximal and elements at the bottom of the hash diagram are minimal okay fine so now we can consider some more hash diagrams and we can see what are the maximal and minimal elements
here we have taken this less than or equal to relation on this set 1 2 3 4 and this is the hash diagram of this partially ordered set and uh, we can see the element at the bottom is 1 so minimal element is 1 and element at the top of the hash diagram is maximal element similarly this is the hash diagram of uh, this set 2 3 6 12 24 36 with divisibility relation and uh, we can see these two are minimal elements 2 and 3 are at the bottom of the hash diagram so they are minimal elements in this partially ordered set and uh, 24 and 36 these two are maximal elements so it is easy to decide maximal and minimal elements using hash diagram also and uh, if you wish you can use the definition also you should remember the definition that suppose we have a partially ordered set with less than or equal to relation then an element y in p is maximal for maximal we require this condition that there is no x in p such that y is less than x and uh, y belongs to p is minimal if there is no x in p such that x is less than y now you can notice that maximal and minimal elements need not be unique here we have two maximal elements here we have two minimal elements so they can be more than one also and uh, I have written here maximal and minimal elements need not be unique and they are easy to spot using a hash diagram and they are the top and bottom elements in the hash diagram so in this way we can decide about maximal and minimal elements they can ask you to determine the maximal and minimal elements of a given partial order set so either you can use the definition or you can draw the hash diagram and then you can decide the maximal and minimal elements. So this is all about this session. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching.